Hello friends and uh, and welcome to a video. Hope you're all well and many thanks for your uh, very very kind messages last video. Um, I think it's been a week and a bit hasn't it since my last video. I thought I'd come on and say hello and um, hope you're all well too. What's been going on? Well I'm just relaxing now. I'm, I'm lucky, very very lucky. I've got a three day weekend so cup of tea. and a new pipe. <clears throat> My new pipe is a rusticated um, bent big lovely big bowl Chariton pipe. Um, it's a new old stock pipe and um, I hope it's showing up properly, the rustication on camera. It's probably not, but... Um, yeah, it's such a lovely pipe. And um, I saw it on eBay and I thought, well, it's just the right pipe for, um, for um, the winter. When your hands are cold and you're, uh, <coughs> you want something to, you know, to grip onto like this with the, with the rustication something that's gonna take the heat out of the flake so it's got a nice thick walls and a quite a big bowl and it's a bent pipe it's a fantastic smoker so when I received it it was caked in uh, dust and it was wrongly um, you know, I'd, I'd seen it and thought it's a used pipe because, uh, you know, it's dirty and uh, old, but it wasn't. And uh, I used some Murphy's oil soap. If you haven't seen that, um, I'm not going to show you because it's behind the camera. Um, I used some of that on it and it lifted all of the um, dirt and dust. And underneath was this lovely briar, beautiful colour. Um, but it dulled the finish terribly and what I did and I bought this the other week I um, gave it a two coatings of Howard's feed and wax um, if you've seen that before you uh, you basically you apply a small amount um, all over the pipe um, all over the wood and leave it for about half an hour which is what I did, and it absorbs the uh, the um, you know it's a conditioner really, uh, and you just wipe off the excess. And I did that twice. First time it absorbed it all, and the second time um, it looked still quite shiny on the outside after I would applied the second coat, so I didn't need a third. And um, it just gave a lovely shine to the pipe and it uh, kind of reinvigorated it after years of I don't know sitting in someone's drawer I, unused and unloved but now it's going to get full use I'm going to put it to work and um, I'm breaking it in at the moment with some lovely J.F. Germain's Rich Dark Flake which is probably my favourite tobacco of all time it's got this nice topping which I find clings a little bit to the bowl with the Virginias and the Burley and you can build a cake fairly quickly and enjoy the smoke at the same time. Um, so yes that is excellent and I've, I've really been enjoying that. I've been, uh, been to London recently to this place the uh, the clink prison which is uh, um, right by London Bridge um, Bankside and uh, if you ever go to London visit here it's, it's quite interesting it's very interesting and uh, a little bit gory but uh, <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was a nice a nice day you know a couple of hours to kill with uh, my wife and my son and um, 
yeah, quite enjoyed popping up to London to see the sights. I couldn't live in London. It's a little bit too busy for me. <laughs> I've lived by the seaside all my life, you know, town. Uh, so uh, it's what you're used to, isn't it? Um, other news is I've got glasses now. <laughs> oh dear. There are only readers. Um, I've always prided myself on having excellent eyesight and um, being able to read things. You know, I'm not well known, but people know me for. People have asked me, what does that say over there? And I can look and I can read it perfectly well. But my, my short sight is uh, quite poor. And I was noticed the other week holding a book at arm's length, reading it. And um, it was noted. And uh, I was asked to do something about it straight away. Which is what I did. <laughs> you can't leave these things, can you? There's no point. And I wasn't enjoying reading, you know, when you're trying to read a book at arm's length for, you know, an hour or so, it's uh, it's no good, is it? So um, I got the glasses, they're just readers, and it's absolutely fantastic. And I've got a, you know, a backlog of, of lovely books now I can enjoy and read. The current one I'm reading is uh, Georges Simenon's uh, Maigret and the Burglar. Tim and um, uh, the two Tims, Tim, uh, Tim, Tim Lancaster and Tim Walters, um, and um, John will really, yeah, appreciate this. Uh, what an excellent story, and um, thoroughly enjoying Maygray at the moment. Books and DVDs, but these are expensive. Seven ninety nine. I didn't pay that. <laughs> I wouldn't pay. <laughs> Seven ninety nine. I, you know, must. It looks brand new though, but um, I got it off eBay for one pound fifty. Um, I think that's, you know, my limit, really. I mean, it's a short story. That that I started that this morning. I'm halfway through it already. This is a book I would read in a day, maybe two, um, and at Seven pound ninety nine. It's a lot of money, isn't it? So, yes, enjoying reading again with the glasses. You've got to do these things, haven't you? Uh, enjoying the new pipe. I noticed um, a couple of days ago C&D have released their Christmas tobacco. <laughs> oh, dear. It gets earlier and earlier every year. Um, I believe it was November last year. They released uh, their Christmas tobacco. We're only in September now, and um, they've released their September blend, which is just a rehash of their um, what one is it? Not corn cob pipe, because that's uh, that was last year's. Um, uh, not we three kings. It's the other one. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> but no doubt I'll pick up a tin or two. I have I have some of that very blend, and I wish I could remember what it's called. Um, sitting in the cellar, so what I'll do, I'll pick up a couple of tins and get my cellared one. Um, but it's a bit early for Christmas, isn't it? <laughs> oh dear, never mind. Um, what else? I've finished off this, which is the 20th uh, anniversary flake, which was quite nice. Still... Um, well, I had what, a bowl of this the other day, um, exotic orange, which uh, it was a very, very hot day. And it's lovely on a very hot day. Something sweet and aromatic. Um, real flavour of, uh, um, not toffee, uh, orange and uh, caramel. That's the flavour. Um, and you've got to sip it very, very carefully. Or sip. It's, it, it'll give you tongue bite. Of course, loads of Penzance still. I've got another bag or so um, ready to fill up the kilner again. I love Penzance. What a blend. Um, I'll have a sip of tea. Uh, picked up these, which are very, very aromatic. I don't know if you've tried these before. The uh, Siocolato. 
to me it's not a nice note it's a uh, like a liqueur chocolate that doesn't quite it's very very chemically I do hope the actual um, cigars uh, taste nothing like the aroma <laughs> but yeah they're nice little things toothy small rustic cigars by um, Toscano so we, we'll have to see won't we we'll have to see I thought just try them you, you know you've, you haven't had them before so uh, see what they're like so I got those something nicer in the cigar department is um, a little package I got a couple of a week ago maybe uh, they're the limited edition um, shots by crowned heads um, this one is the uh, Juarez J U A R E Z Juarez uh, probably not saying that quite right but what a lovely cigar very very tasty perfect with a coffee or your favorite drink um, yeah lovely cigars very highly recommended um, and really I think that's it apart from I'm going to finish on uh, the uh, dip in tobacco uh, Copenhagen pouches and um, the snuff has been because it's been so hot I've been uh, snuffing a bit of Bernard's magic moments which uh, you know this whole thing will last me the whole year because I only use it on very hot days <laughs> and in the UK well I have to say last you know the last month has been really quite nice a bit too hot for me but yeah I've been enjoying it in on hot days uh, magic moments there very nice indeed so yeah I'm just carrying on breaking this lovely pipe in Thoroughly enjoying it, and uh, I hope you're all well and um, everything's good for you, and you know you're uh, all safe out there. And I'll come back with another video. I haven't <coughs> ordered anything. I'm gonna. Um, there's no point even saying I'm gonna stop ordering. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding myself. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get some of that C and D Christmas tobacco. And uh, and I'm going to open my cellared tobacco from C and D. Uh, I can't even remember what it's called, uh, which is a shame. That's what happens in your forties; you start forgetting things. But there you go. Good to see you all. Take care of yourself, and see you next week. Cheers. <laughs>